What's to be taken? The Democrats haven't given us nothing to be taken. I don't care what 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 I'm saying. I don't care that they not doing nothing, particularly for us. All right, so I want to address this not as a attack or you know a rebuttal, but just as understanding. And I'm not, he, he didn't tag me in the last video. I just haven't seen it because we're still mutuals. And I find it interesting, but I, I you know I want to respect you know where he's coming from. I just haven't. I wanted more dialogue. So let's jump into it. Yo, I'm gonna address this, bro. Like like for real. I don't need you to keep tagging me at nothing, bro. I'm I'm where I'm at, and I realize you where you at. Now, um, I find it interesting because he tagged me. He put me in the video. Now, actually, he did tag me in this video, so I apologize. That's I misspoke. But he tagged me in other videos where they made claims, and my only thing is we talk about the Dems like they're godsend when a lot of the craziest laws that's happened to black folk happened under the Democrats. Three strikes was written by Biden signed by Clinton. That happened in the 90s and it hurt black folk. All right, that's Dems. They have a long standing of uh, getting us to be on some kumbaya and then we're like, okay, cool. Let's put them in office, but we don't ask for much. And then when they do some janky laws, we get caught with our pants down and other groups get to get elevated. They come in to our countries and literally get elevated above us. So like, it's a standstill, bro. And at this, at, at, at this point, bro, I don't even want to interact with you no more. I mean, that's, a, that's a really the crazy part, you know what I'm saying, uh, for me. I'm like, is it, and these are folks, me and him will never meet, more than likely, in a lifetime, or two lifetimes. And now I want to understand, I understand the passion, let me say that, but I want to understand when it gets to the point where we just, like, they, they not, we, we all 40-something, right? Having open dialogue about what's going to affect the future, and, ho and, and looking at, because we, we don't have perfect candidates, but looking at it, and seeing the force for the trees and saying, okay, yeah, this side, don't give a damn about us, but y'all don't either. And we're going to hold you accountable for that. Like, we've been your, quote, party. Like, the, the Democrats are the party of black people. Y'all have done nothing for us. And to get this type of response, that's, like, that's, that's crazy to me. But, you know, I, I can't control how people feel about things or where their head's at or, or, you know, and it is what it is. I'm done. I'm too emotional for this. Like I said, I'm going off of my emotions. And now that's the part for me that's the scariest part. When it comes, because this is business. Politics is business. Policy is business. Politics, policy, hand in hand. That's where you get politics from. They write policies in place that can either help your group or hurt your group. There's no neutral ground. And it's business because when you're dealing with work, when you work for a business, they have standards or procedures. They have policies in place. And guidelines that you have to follow that says, okay, as long as you work for us, you got to meet this. And if you don't meet this and it violates our policy, well, we can punish you by way of written a, uh, not infraction, infraction, so <laughs> I'm telling my age, uh, by way of writing you up, suspending you, depends on what you, where you work at, what you do. Like you, an athlete, they can suspend you. Ryan Garcia got suspended for a year. Um, then he went on his racist rant. You can get written up, you can get fired. And when it comes to politics and these policies, man, we gotta we gotta be business. What you gonna do for me? The worst thing you can do is sitting down at a business table is hand over everything and get nothing in return. And that's what I think has happened over the years. We keep handing hand over everything to the Democrats and we get nothing in return and we're steady falling further and further behind as a group. And you can't tell me nothing. I don't care what 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 I'm saying. I don't care that they not doing nothing, particularly for us. That's the worst part. We no other group is going to do that. We black and brown coalition. We all this minority. We all minorities. We all minorities. And black people beat their chest, get in the front of the of the guard, take the brunt of everything coming, and then everybody else gets to walk and mosey on past us and get the benefits of our labor, of our fight of our uh, stick to it in this and they move forward, they elevate and we stuck where we at. Like uh, we have to care because if, if the point is I'm voting because the Democrats are the better option, well, how are they the better option? What are they doing for us to make them the better option? How are they viable? Because I don't see it. I don't see them doing, doing the Dougie, the Funky Watusi, the <laughs> hot sauce, chicken, all these performative things, very stereotypical things. And we get nothing out of that. The other side ain't going to, but the other side trying to take everything from us. 
What's to be taken? The Democrats haven't given us nothing to be taken. They have done nothing to get, they have done nothing for us. It's been catch all, lift all programs, and other groups are already doing better than us. It is crazy to think that in Chicago and New York, especially New York, right? In New York, when it comes to the rent, rent's skyrocketing, and these folks can come in and get all kind of subsidies. They can get their rent paid, they get their food paid for, they get put in these nice ass hotels, and our folks can barely afford their rent to the point where they gotta vacate their homes. Chicago. The youth had the youth centers in a place where they can go and learn to swim and play chess, basketball, volleyball, all these things that keep them out in the streets. They got vacated out of it. So we need more room for the migrants, for the illegals. So that's crazy to me to think that it's, hey, we are doing this voting thing to better our lives. And it's going to be Democrats and nothing's come up from it. Like the Democrats, every time the Democrats in office, man, we lose. That's all I'm going to say. We lose. And they've already started. So at this point, it's good and evil. And I'm going to say that, keep saying that. But I ain't fucking with you no more, bro. Simple as that. And that's crazy, man. That is crazy. It's, it's politics the game, man. Just black folk, let's take emotion out of it. It's business. At the end of the day, the reason why some of us can't get ahead in certain aspects is because we go in with emotions. We wear our heart on our sleeve. They see it and they start thumping in our heart. And then we make a rational decision. That's where we get the crash out culture. Because it's a rational decision making. We got to be about business. Quid pro quo. What, hey, okay, hey, I need your vote. Because they need us. Not the other way around. They can't get in office without us. So if you need me, I'm the plug. I'm the conduit for your success. What I'm going to get out of you becoming successful. When you get there, what, what I'm going to get? Where's my kickback? Where's my kickback? That's, that's all I'm saying. And... and Black folk, because I've seen this one sister put up there. I'm not only voting for Kamala because she's, uh, she's black, but she sits down to pee. What? All these babies coming up missing? Black women, y'all get the worst treatment in the medical field, whether you work there or whether you're a patient. And the bar is set so low that it's, well, she sit down to pee. That blows my mind. It blows my mind, but I say I ain't gonna bother this brother no more. He said he ain't fucking with me. Um, that's crazy. Known this cat for what well, we know other of each other. We never been best friends, or nothing like that. But we known each other for years, man. Go back to grade school. I want to say middle school. So you know it is what it is, man. Um, best wishes, I guess, man. Because I'm voting tangibles. Policy over politics. Policy over party. No tangibles, no vote. Peace and black empowerment, family.